Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nick. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not new here, welcome back. All right, y'all, so we are getting into Hannibal season two, episode six. Am I excited? I think honestly, for the first time, I'm not <laughs> really excited to start it. It's a different playing field that I am used to. I am used to all of these side characters or the annoying characters or the one-off characters or the characters that are just around for one episode getting iced. I am still traumatized from what happened in the last episode and I wish to not speak about that. So yeah, we are going to get into this next episode and just pray that what is left of my fractured psyche isn't completely destroyed in this episode. Before we get into this episode, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification button. Check me out on social media. I have both Instagram and Twitter, and you feel free to check me out on Patreon. You'll get access to exclusive polls to help me pick what I watch next, full-length audio commentaries, Patreon-exclusive full-length reactions, and more. Everybody needs to hold hands. We're gonna do a prayer circle, light your Alejandro candles, do whatever you need to do, and let's just pray that I make it through this episode. Let's go. You're moving smoothly and slowly, Jack. Carrying your concentration like a brimming cup. That's because this dumbass, once again, thinks that you're the bad guy. Because two plus two equals negative 37 for him, apparently. You told him to kill Hannibal. Nothing I said made that happen, Jack. It just happened. You don't seem to be too broken up about it. Ew, look at that smug look on his face. I can't stand him. What is the first and principal thing he does? What need does he serve by killing? Filling his stomach. Aw, oh, that's not funny. If he waits too long, then the meat spoils. He's eating them. Why is Jack acting like this is brand new information that whomever is doing these killings is eating the victims? Wasn't it stated in a previous thing that, oh no, it was when they went to that, uh, the, the bailiff's murder. And he was like, oh, he like, Will ate them. He's crazy, blah, blah, blah. And they literally had Will in that face, like the, the Hannibal Lecter face mask thing. So why is like Jack like, with the exception of Beverly Katz, there is no connection between Hannibal and any Ripper victims. No immediate connection. Oh my God. How did Jack even get this far in the FBI? Clap if you've ever wanted to kill somebody. If the Ripper's killing, you can bet Hannibal Lecter's planning a dinner party. You and I probably sipped wine while swallowing the people to whom we were trying to give justice. Yes, yes, oh my God. I'm glad somebody finally said it, that they've been eating people both seasons. Who does he have to kill before you open your eyes? Is that? Oh, pause, 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 pause. Before they panned over... That's a heart. Ew! Before the scene changed and you saw Lana, there was like, like they planted the seed that somebody else important to Jack has to die in order for him to figure out that Hannibal is the killer. Now, we saw that fight in the future. Now, I don't know if that's like a result of him killing somebody else and Jack figuring it out. That could just be a way to throw us off. Now, assuming that that is what they do, my first guess would have been Bella. But the fact that they just panned to Alana, I will not tolerate any harm coming to Alana Bloom. No, no. Don't do it. Strange having nightmares. Don't make the same mistake I've made, being your own psychiatrist. I'm always assessing my feelings instead of acting on them. Given her conversation with Will in the last episode, I'm surprised she's even in the same room with him alone. He's not always conscious of this, but he's aware of it when he suddenly knows what to do. And do you know what to do? I need to get my appetite back. <laughs> No, oh, oh. What a line though, right? See, like the visual is gorgeous. Now, you know what? Do you stop? Do you rest? Do you rest? Dare I say it though? That is fucking gorgeous. Wow. That's in a parking lot? How the hell did a full tree get in a parking lot? He's literally grafted in place. These are living roots. They're varicose vines. 
That was clever. <laughs> Chesapeake Ripper usually cherry picks his organs. He took almost all of them. Everything but the lungs. Because he's trying to get his appetite back. Ugh, gross. I've convinced myself of something I refuse to see for a long time. I can't help well. We um, found another Ripper victim. I'm sorry, I can't. Not only do I have to let Will go, I have to let this all go. He can't be like being serious. So this has to be like a show that he's putting on. Because I can't imagine that the concept of murder, given what we literally just saw, is now affecting him. No. Lying ass bitch. We both have to transform our misfortunes into life enhancing events. I'm going to start by hosting a dinner party. Uh, and please tell me you'll come. Oh God, is he gonna serve everybody at the dinner party all the organs that he literally just took? Pretend, let's put yourself in the shoes of Jack. Well. Actually, not in the shoes of Jack. Let's put yourself in the shoes of somebody who is not a moron. You're working at the FBI. And you just got done talking to Will. And Will makes the comment, Hannibal was probably eating the victims and serving them and that they had probably been eating the victims, the previous victims. If someone told me that there was a potential that when I go over to a friend's house and he cooks me food, that there's human flesh and organs in the food, me as an FBI agent, you bet your ass that I would snatch one of those chicken nuggets and stick it in my pocket and bring it to the lab the next day to test it because it's probably not a chicken McNugget. It's probably a chicken McTesticle, okay? Like, why would you not check? The moment I convinced the chief of staff to put you in a cell next to me, you were stamped with an expiration date. Oh shit, probably. Anyone who gets too close gets got. <laughs> he said gets got. <laughs> That's very well, you know, you know. I sat in Hannibal Lecter's cobalt blue dining room where I asked him if he was the Chesapeake Ripper and he avoided the question and suggested I kill Alana Bloom. <gasps> Wait, did, did, does, does everyone else not know that? He avoided the question and suggested I kill Alana Bloom. Abel Gideon is a lunatic. Oh my God, oh my God. How can somebody get like to this point, this age in his life being so dumb? Fucking die already! The simplest explanation as to why he can describe Hannibal Lecter's home is that he was in Hannibal Lecter's home. Yes, oh my God. And my team Chilton now, what the f then you're aware what Will is accusing Hannibal Lecter of. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hannibal once served me tongue and then made a joke about eating mine. Uh, it would be oh. narrow to not <laughs> at least consider it. Yeah, see, see what I'm talking about? Oh my God, oh my God, I'm Team Chilton, I'm Team Chilton. I hope he, I hope, ooh, 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 oh my God, oh my God. Team Chilton, Team Chilton. Yup, 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 yup. Chesapeake Ripper is killing again and Hannibal Lecter is throwing a dinner party. Jackie fits the profile. Oh my God. Medical and psychological fields because they offer power over man. Cannibalism is an act of dominance. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Hold on, I gotta pause, I gotta pause, I gotta pause, I gotta pause. They're figuring it out. They're figuring it out. Oh my God. I mean, I am still upset that it literally took basically the equivalent of the light produced by the Vegas Strip for Jack's dumbass to figure it out. But literally there's no. Hold on. Let me back up. What f***ing shenanigans is Hannibal gonna pull to get out of this one? Diatoms, unicellular colonies. No two water sources have the same diatom population. Oh, that's interesting, I didn't know that. <gasps> oh, the dogs, the dogs. Look at her, still taking care of the dogs. I mean, ugh. Will needs to get out and get started on the nuptials. Hannibal's been a teacher, a mentor, and a friend. I've known him before you or Will or any of this. I don't claim to know anyone. You don't know shit. I look at these dogs. I see the best part of Will, but he's lying. He's manipulating, he's playing a game, and he's not scared. Boy, are her ears gonna be red. Is that the saying? Yeah, her ears will be red, right? When she's like embarrassed? It's not nose, right? No, cause no, he's not, she's not Rudolph. No, what is that? Kind of looks like Hela from Thor Ragnarok with the crown and shit. Hey queen. Honey, what is this? Hello, Dr. Lecter. 
No, oh, nuts. You tried to kill me, Will. It's hard not to take that personally. However, if I were Beverly's murderer, I'd applaud your effort. <laughs> effort. E for effort. He did what he could, and it still f***ing failed. You found a way to hurt me. I wonder how many more people are going to get hurt by what you do. Oh, that's evil. That's f***ing evil. He's, like, threatening him. Because Chilton said that whoever is eating the meat... Hannibal does it because it's like a form of dominance. And based on that conversation, it sounds like Hannibal kind of wants to dominate Will. Ugh. Ugh. And it's like, you don't even know what part of the body you're looking at. Ugh. Do you think when Hannibal runs out of meat and he doesn't have like time to kill somebody, he just orders from the meat delivery service with Sebastian Stan? Do you think Hannibal is friends with Army Hammer? The word sociopath has not been used by any respected psychiatrist since 1968. Is that true? Because like I'm friends with psychologists and therapists and stuff. And like I've heard them talk about sociopaths. I have never set foot in Dr. Lecter's home. I only met the man a week ago. Oh, Will's very keen to believe that Hannibal Lecter is the Chesapeake Ripper. Because Dr. he is. Chilton did very little to disavow him of that notion. That is true. She's got a point. You got the right box there, Jack, but you're looking in the wrong corner. All right, well, we're removing the Chilton angle because we're back to fucking square one. You know that poor nurse I murdered? I asked her if she had eyes for me. She said no. So I had to take him. Ugh. Oh, he's about to get. Oh, no, he's probably about to escape. Oh, well, maybe not. <gasps> they killed him? Yeah. Well, I don't know if he's... Well, he's probably dead. I mean, he had it coming. Oh, she passed away? Mm, all right. No. No. You know the word yes? Well, the opposite of that is no. Oh, God. You don't even know what those are. Those are like gonads or something. Ugh, that... Blech. <laughs> Everybody in this party is just feeding on flesh. Oh my god. Yeah, Jack. Yeah. No, uh, no, uh, no. Oh, well, she's eaten over here before. What the fuck is that? What was that? I hate it here. It's a bad time. Needless to say, I will not be eating the food. Well, you know, TBH though, now that I'm thinking about it, they probably should eat the food. Because I feel like, like Hannibal, it, nothing gets past his ass. The sexy, hunky psychopath in the last episode kind of slipped under the radar for like a hot second. But if Hannibal notices that they're not eating the food, then Hannibal is immediately gonna start killing people. Why did you come here tonight if you're so convinced? I do not want him to think I suspect anything. Mm, I mean, that's a good idea, but he just wants to be there because he always wants to be involved in everything. Unfortunately, my friend, I can't stay. I would love to take some food to go. That's all right. Oh, that's smart. That's smart. First smart thing he's done. Well, shit. A container and I'll serve myself from here. With your permission, of course, Dr. Lecter. Fuck, 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 fuck! His nose! Damn it! You have your permission, Dr. Lecter? Help yourself. Eat it soon or it'll spoil. Or wait, does he not know? Is he like just upset that he's not like staying? No, no, he knows. Fuck. I mean, literally, literally. Oh, shit. Shit. Oh, the wink. Oh, the, oh, the wink was kind of sexy. No, the, the wink. No, oh, fuck, he knows. You can fart in front of Hannibal and he could tell you what you ate, like what type of cake you had at your 13th birthday party. <sighs> See, test this. Oh, good, good. Well, I don't know though. I mean, that would be kind of sloppy on Hannibal's end when he thinks that potentially he's under suspicion in any way, shape or form. Like even if he wasn't suspicious that Jack and Chilton were suspicious of him, the smart thing to do as a serial killer <laughs> would be to not actually serve human meat. Because if the second that somebody would start to suspect him, he would think ahead and be like, nope, because they were gonna test my food or they would test my food. The ending to my composition has been eluding me, but you may just have solved that problem with chopsticks. Um, why are you seeing so close to her? What is, what is this? What is going on? It, they better not. What the fuck is going on in here on this day? I've walked away from Will, but I'm still trailing his accusations. I walked away too. No, you didn't walk away. You wouldn't be still taking care of the dogs. The dogs are the symbol of hope. Oh, what the fuck is this nonsense? Um, oh no. 
This is wrong. I don't, this is nasty. Oh. I mean, this is almost as bad as her getting murdered. No, 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 absolutely not. Under no circumstances do I support this. I'm not happy by this. I am distraught. I am broken. I am a, a husk of what I used to be. Oh no, did he drug her? <sighs> of course he did. Of course he fucking did. I don't even know how to feel. Like normally I would have been like, how dare you Hannibal for being disgusting. But this whole affair, no. I was so upset. I was so pissed off. If you only knew how pissed off I was in this moment. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, he's alive. Okay. So they just beat him up for talking shit. Hello, Dr. Gideon. You were told. You were told that this was coming. That's what she said. Or he said. With a hard monitor on the guards, so no one knew Gideon was missing. At least as long as it took for the guard to die, which wasn't long. What the f There is no way Gideon could have done any of this with the injuries he had. The last time Gideon escaped custody, he went looking for the Chesapeake Ripper. So wait, Hannibal took Gideon? Because I thought that was going to be Gideon, and that's one of the guards. So I am Confucian. Oh my gosh. And he's gonna use, oh my God, clever boy, clever boy. This is because he drugged her so she was asleep so that she wouldn't sense when he got out of bed. So this way he can't be blamed for the murder because she's his alibi now. Motherfucker. I was thinking about funerals, how often they make us want sex. Has she cracked? What the f I've been so sad, really sad. Hannibal has betrayed him. Alana has betrayed him. Jack has betrayed him. I won't betray him. If he needs a shoulder to cry on, a bony, pasty white pale shoulder. Come here, Will. Last time someone rang my doorbell this early, it was a census taker. Was. <laughs> was that what I think it was? The census taker? Was that the, the the famous line about the, I once ate a census taker or something with beans and a nice Chianti and then he does a <laughs> or whatever the f he does. Gideon is nowhere to be found. He was taken by someone, someone who knew him. Where were you last night? See, this is nonsensical. We already know where this ends. I was with Hannibal all night, Jack. Absolute fucking nonsense. Miss Alana, she has crossed the line. I'm so upset with her. She ain't gotta die, but she needs she needs to go on a vacation, just not be here for the rest of the season. The only way she could redeem herself is if she single-handedly gets well out of jail. Aside from that, I'm pissed off at her. I'm praying to God. I'm praying, I'm praying that it doesn't get worse. I'm praying. I love cooking with clay. Create the most succulent dish. Cooking with clay? Have I gone dumb? Like what what it, you can cook with clay? Should I cough? I think you already have. Your legs are no good to you anymore. You've got a T4 fracture of the vertebra. He cut his fucking leg off. Wait, he cooked his leg and he's serving him his own leg? Is that what the food is? Ugh, twisted. You intend me to be my own last supper? Yes. How does one politely refuse a dish? <laughs> I don't think you can. <laughs> oh my God, is he actually gonna do it? I mean, I guess if you're gonna die already, like. Trauma. Wagyu beef. There's about a hundred dollars worth right there. How do you know it's like Kobe? Well, I called that shit. You want people? The Chesapeake Ripper has been tying flies with them. What? For what? And a toenail from James Gray, a muralist. All victims of the Chesapeake Ripper. Jack is looking like something's circulating up there. Will didn't kill any of these people. There was no copycat. It was always the Ripper, finally taking credit for all of his murders. Yeah. If he doesn't get fired after this, if he doesn't die, he, 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 if he doesn't get fired, he better voluntarily quit. Got that? You copy that? What is he about to find in here? Don't, don't, don't. You don't have backup, you big dumb-dumb. Oh, what is that? Is that poo water? What is that? Oh my God! That's uh, that's the uh, Miriam. Oh shit! What the fuck? What does that even mean? Okay, when I say I am confusion, I mean it. I don't know what the hell that ending meant. Now Miriam is the 
first person that he over, so everybody assumed that she was dead. Now, they confirm... I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know, that, we're gonna have to table that one for the next episode. I am upset with what Alana Bloom did in this episode. I have officially removed her from my friends list on MySpace, so she can choke. You know, it was funny because like somebody, one of you guys commented on one of my previous Hannibal videos in like the first season. Whoever commented was like, you, oh, you know, it's crazy. It's so nice and refreshing to see somebody love Alana Bloom because majority of the fan base hates her. And I'm like, when I read that, I'm like, how? Like she hasn't done anything. Like, like literally the entire first season, she's presented as a character that you, you would root for. So I'm like, I don't understand. Now I understand. Ugh. I don't know. Those are my takeaways. This has been two back-to-back -back episodes that have left me shooketh. So I'm at, to be honest with you, a couple of you guys left comments on, I want to say it was episode three of this season. A bunch of you guys were like, um, I'm going to need you to buckle up because you have crossed that point where it is just trauma, trauma, trauma from here on out. And like, we still have like four or five episodes to go. Oh no. Alright, I guess I'll see you guys for the next one.